Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. Now, this is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The 9.0.0 release of Angular is now available. Now, this is a major release that spans the entire platform, including the framework, Angular material, and the command line interface. This release switches applications to the Ivy compiler and runtime by default and introduces improved ways of testing components. An extensive list of updates are on the post. Machine learning systems have been increasingly deployed to aid in high-impact decision-making, such as determining criminal sentencing, child welfare assessments, who receives medical attention, and many other settings. Understanding whether such systems are fair is crucial. To help with this, we have released ML Fairness Gym, a set of components for building simple simulations that explore potential long-run impacts of deploying machine learning-based decision systems in social environments. Chrome 80 recently rolled out with a bunch of new stuff for developers. Included is support for modules and workers, optional chaining in JavaScript, new origin trials, and more. For all the details, including code snippets, check out the post. Glass Enterprise Edition 2 was launched last May, can be purchased directly from one of our hardware resellers, and is now available for you to build upon. We've also shared new open source applications and code samples, including sample layouts and UI components that may be helpful examples if you're just getting started developing for Glass. We recently made some improvements to the review process for smart home actions on Google aimed at making the experience more transparent in the Actions console and reducing the time it takes for your actions to get approved. More details and a screenshot are on the post. D8 is the default DEX compiler, and if you haven't already, now is the time to migrate to D8. On February 1st, 2021, DX will be fully removed from Android Studio and any other build environments. For more details and links, check out the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week. You know we're almost 200 episodes?